Hi, the JD Edwards Enterprise One Form Extensibility Framework is a powerful tool that allows you to extend your Enterprise One business logic by associating an orchestration with a form or grid event in real time without performing customizations. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can associate an orchestration with an event using simple steps. We'll see how we can call that orchestration from the form to update the grid column values in an update grid. All this in real time without performing customization or accessing the form design aid or FDA. We'll also see how the orchestration iterates over the selected grid rows when the orchestration is invoked. To use this functionality, you must ensure that feature security is enabled for the form extension you do. For this tutorial, we'll use an orchestration that will update the order status of the sales order lines of an order from 540 to 560. To meet our requirements, we have created the orchestration that we will use to update the order status of the sales order lines. Let's take a look at the outputs defined for this orchestration. In the next few steps, I'm going to show you how you can associate this orchestration with the button clicked event for a new web button on the sales order detailed revisions form. Later, we'll see how the order status of the sales order lines changes from 540 to 560 when we click the button. We'll call the orchestration from the sales order detailed revisions form. Use the form extension icon to access the form extension manager side panel. We'll use this button to add a new web button on the form. Let's rename this button. This is the button that we'll use to call the orchestration to update the order line status. Next, we'll access the associate orchestrations wizard. This wizard contains a series of steps that you must complete in a sequential order. In the first step, we'll select the control and event we want to associate the orchestration with. Let's select the new button as the control. We'll associate the orchestration with the button clicked event. Use the next button to move to the next step in the wizard. Notice the check mark on the previous step. This indicates that the step has been completed. Let's select the orchestration. We'll skip this step because we don't need to define any mapping inputs. Use this step to define how you want the orchestration to be executed. We'll run the orchestration in the synchronous mode. We'll leave this option turned off. This indicates that the system will display any orchestration errors as in your face errors. Let's turn on this option so that we will know if an orchestration has been submitted or not. Let's move to the next step. We'll use this step to define the mapping outputs. Let's save this association. We'll save this form extension. Next, let's select the order lines for which we want to update the order status. We'll see whether the orchestration is executed when we click this button. You can see that the orchestration has been submitted. You may note that this message appears because we had enabled the show progress toggle button earlier. Note that the order line status has been updated for all the selected rows. You may recall that these are the fields that we had defined as the mapping outputs for our orchestration. To sum up, you can use the form extensibility framework to associate an orchestration with an event on an enterprise one form in real time without customization using simple steps. Use these additional resources to learn more about the capabilities of form extensibility. For more information, visit us at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.